Hey everybody, long time no see, um, me and the boys are doing good, we went out on our own end of May, I'm working full time six days a week, and um, you know a lot of people have asked how I'm doing and everything, um, you know I just went through my own mini SHTF situation, and you know, I thought I was prepared for anything, but when something happens, let it be a separation like this, let it be um, a blackout, a job loss, you know, something you're going to have to deal with a lot of emotions, a lot of stress, heartbreak. And you can't really prepare yourself for it. I don't care the, 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 the hardcore prepper survivalist, you know. You just can't prepare for it because it hits you so many ways. You just got to suck it up and carry on. You know, a lot of people go get medication for it, but I, I'm not that type. And in a major SHTF situation, say an economy collapse or something major where there is no doctor, how are you going to deal with it? You're going to have to deal with it by yourself, you know? So that's where I'm at, you know. I guess some people say I was depressed. I don't see it. It's just, um... hey, Eric, don't go over that way. You wait a minute and we'll go. Sorry, we're down here at the park and there's a creek and he's wanting to throw rocks. Um, you know, you, you just got to find your own way and it takes time. And, and um, I haven't forgot about YouTube. I've just, like I said, I've had a lot of, I, I'm raising these three boys on my own. I'm working full time, you know, I quit my wood business. And stuff like that and I got a full-time job and they got me working six days a week I'm focused on that focus on the boys and just trying to get me straightened out get me back yeah I sold everything I own guns bows prepping gear I mean uh, basically I'm a newbie and I went from country prepping to city prepping in a apartment so I've got some ideals on how to adjust um, I've been looking around the area of resources water resources you know food where I can trap I can hunt in the city and there's quite a bit around here you'll be surprised when I start making videos you guys are going to be really surprised at how much is in this city I live in and um, and it's secluded as well a lot of woods around there a lot of yeah you know, it's not easy to get to in the middle of the city so let's say you got to deal with that crap in the city sorry but I just wanted to make this video short and say yeah I'm still here I'm still kicking I'm just dealing with a bunch of, um, you know, stuff right now, but it's getting easier. Day by day, it gets easier. And uh, you just got to reach down and pull yourself up by the bootstraps and say, hey, this is the way it is. But my main point is you can prepare food-wise, medical-wise, shelter-wise, water-wise, weapons-wise. You know, you can get... But you can never prepare mentally and emotionally for a SHTF situation. I mean, let it be, let it be a blackout, an economy collapse, you know, a separation, a divorce, a death in the family. You know, there's so many things and you just cannot prepare yourself for that I don't care how hardcore you are because I'm pretty level-headed and you know hardcore but when the emotions kick in and it gets to the mental and the stress 
it's a losing battle and you're just gonna have to come back from that um, and if people says oh it's easy they're full of it it's not easy especially when there's kids involved it's not easy at all but that's where I'm at um, I haven't forgot you guys I appreciate the call the calls the emails you know I've got I I've changed my address she still lives there um, at the old address but me and the boys live in a totally different city um, so if you guys are interested in my address just email me I got the same email that's on my home page under about and I'll send it out to you guys but um, I'm gonna try to get back working making videos because I got a lot of ideals maybe and maybe I needed a fresh approach because the videos I was making beforehand they were me a bathroom. right over there buddy it they were I don't know redundancy I mean I, I don't know you know it, this it was it was all old you know I talked about a lot of things over and over and this one I might talk about over and over on certain things but it's going to be a new outlet a new I, I don't know I don't know the words I'm thinking about it, it's going to be like I said country prepping to city you know you ain't gonna be able to walk out to your door and shoot something that's in your yard like you can here in the city like you can in the country you know I'm in the country I could have walked five or six hundred yards and been in a bunch of woods and you know use my rifle or use my pistol or use my shotgun or something like that here there's plenty of game around but I'm going to have to be smarter because I can't use it. So the other weapons I have, what I have left, has to come into play. And my traps and snares and stuff like that. But that's another video. But um, just wanted to let you guys know I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. And I hope everybody is having a great summer. School is fixing to start. Yeah! and uh but anyway just um give me an email say hi i appreciate it thank you guys and i'll see you on the next one bye for now